off with the colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay Hi friends <sighs> Taking a shower these days takes like so long it's getting faster, I have to say. Hi, welcome to our day. Um, but it's already 11.30. I woke up at 9.30, did, oh, here, let me turn that off really quick. It's not necessarily gonna be um, hot today. It's only 77 of, of the high, but we have smoky skies and an air quality of 130, I believe. That's what it was this morning. We're trying to keep an eye on it for Ashley's cheer practice tonight, but, uh, because we can't open windows and have fresh air, I just have the AC turned on just to have some airflow in here. I also have a, the air filter for the air purifier fan thingy going. I'll show you in a minute. Uh, yeah, the smoke advisory supposedly ends tonight at midnight, but with the fires over in Spokane. So if any of you are watching the news, um, I know Patty reached out to me yesterday, was worried when she saw that there was Washington fires. Um, they're literally on the opposite side of the state from me. <laughs> so they're over in Spokane and um, a little into Idaho. and But then we have fires in Canada and California. And so they're kind of all surrounding us and so we get the smoke. So no worries on fire danger for us necessarily um but jason went up to help his brother um in roslyn it's on the other side of the pass um yeah he went up yesterday as well with ashley and they did a french drain and then i think they're doing gravel and some other yard work today just to get it done um he took ashley up with him um because her friend is at her second home up in that area um, every weekend and has begged all summer long to let Ashley come up and it just means that we have to like take her up there and finally <laughs> Jason had a chance to take her up there and I don't know who is more excited um, her friend or her friend's mom <laughs> to give something for her daughter to do and they did um, they did so much stuff all, all day yesterday she was literally only up there for the day they went to the farmers market they went to break to lunch and then they went um, a little sightseeing through town and they um, did henna tattoos I'll show, have her show her henna tattoo later um, they went swimming back at the resort at Suncadia resort they had their own home that is within the resort but um, they went swimming and they had dinner at a restaurant in town and and then Jason just had to sit around waiting for them to be done playing when he was done working in order to bring her home. Um, so they had a fun day yesterday and I did nothing but watch TV and the Seahawks football game. Fantastic that they won. So I was just kind of re-straightening up my desk. I have a whole bunch of stuff that I need to do. Um, somehow my... Um, the anesthesiologist thinks it's okay to tack on extra costs for my surgery after I have paid the bill in full. <laughs> so I don't know what they think they're doing, but literally they called me before I had my surgery and said, you need to pay your full balance due before your surgery. I did that over the phone before my surgery. And three days ago, I got a bill for another hundred and seventy dollars I'm like I'm not paying that <laughs> I'm sorry you didn't collect the full amount from me when you said I you collected the full amount so I had to do that and then I had to pay credit card bills after I collect money from Jason <laughs> for said credit card bills um what else do I have to do oh I actually need to sit down and do this I need to sign Ashley up for one of her cheer camps. It's actually next Monday. She needs to have one for her other cheer squad. Mm -hmm. So you need to sign up. I need to sign you up for um, the one cheer squad next Monday. What? 
you have, like for EDE, for Red Squad, you have one more cheer camp that you need to do to fully learn that routine before. Oh. Remember? Do you want to show them your henna? Isn't that cute? There was a, your tattoo, but it was like $20 and I was going to get it. But oh, it you was, were? Yeah, but it was $20 to me. Yeah. Was good, so. Nah. That's fine. It is really getting smoky in here, huh? I think it says it's zero. Oh, it's really bad. All right, I'm gonna sign her up for this little camp and then we're gonna go to Costco. Do you wanna go to Costco with me? Sure. Okay. Do you wanna get the puzzle? I'm gonna look for the puzzle again. We haven't found it. My aunt has said she'd bring it to me when Jason and I go to Utah if she finds it. <laughs> we're both on the hunt for it. Okay, um, I know you're clean because you showered last night, but I need you to go sweep. Yes? Mm -hmm. Okay. So this has been yellow until just now. So we're doing better in here, huh? Well, he just got home, we just got home, and I forgot to pull the camera out at Costco. Um, we got bagels, the other one's outside. We found the Kauai one. Um, we're I'm just gonna, gonna do the Kauai one. I'm gonna do it right now. No, 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 I gotta get a mat for it. I'm not gonna no, start it. But... Yes, oh, looks like the kids put away the, the groceries. Ashley, are you gonna make some banana bread? Cause we've got bananas that need to get used. Nope. We bought too many last nope. week. Um, but we, since dad wasn't with me, <laughs> that happened. Yeah. Right? Looks like they put everything away, but I got a whole bag of carrots, like Costco size um, bag of carrots. Um, and then we stopped at, oh, I'll show you, at Target and got some lemons and lime. Um, but then like a normal um, fruit. Grapes, apples, actually I got extra apples um, for the juicer. I got blueberries. Um, should have gotten this at Target. I wasn't thinking. Um, extra cottage cheese. So we're gonna make a few things for Abby. Oh, cool whip. I'm gonna have to go back to Target. Um, maybe tomorrow, maybe this afternoon. That's gonna be cute. It's gonna be cute, but I'm really not truly, we're not doing a puzzle out unless Why? I can put it on a mat and roll it up. Please. Actually, I don't, I, have, everyone eats here. Everyone eats here. What are you gonna do with the bag? I can't. Really? So where are we gonna put it? On a mat that can get rolled up. They have puzzle yeah, what's mats. the puzzle gonna be? Anywho, um, we're gonna be able to pull out the juicer as soon as Jason takes a shower from helping his brother. Um, and then we're gonna make some cottage cheese jello for Abby. I even wanna make the cottage cheese like fruit dip for her to eat with the extra protein. She's got a lot of jaw pain mostly from the braces they're really trying to work hard on getting the teeth to move into place in order to do the surgery we will have an update on that possibility tomorrow we meet with her surgeon tomorrow as a consult to see where her teeth are at they will do full x-rays full exam her orthodontist has said that there is a good size gap between her jaw bones. That is the one thing the surgeon is waiting for. And then two days ago when Abby went to the orthodontist, they said, wow, the gap in your teeth is really, really closing in. That's moving fast. And we didn't necessarily need those to move a ton. Um, we were willing to take those for what they were um, if the jaw bone separation was in, in the right place. So I'm, Fingers crossed. Pray all your pray prayers that um, I'm looking for jello. That's what I'm looking for. I'm gonna make Abby some cottage cheese jello or dip. Um, that that goes well. It's an early morning for both of us. So um, I'm gonna have to go to bed way early tonight and maybe even knock my stuff out. And then, then at Target we got um, some of these wipes to go into my car to kind of clean the hands and whatnot in the car. And then we got Origel for her mouth because um, it's she's also got some sores from the braces themselves. She was in a lot of pain last night. So I'm going to give her that. And then maybe even the, the surgeon, he's technically a dentist too, um, can give her some medicated like drops if that's necessary, um, like a prescription strength one. Um, and then I got some mints, some gum, and Ashley got herself a gum. 
and then floss for Jason. I got some sesame seed oil because I've seen a recipe that I think we could, I could have become like a regular in our, like a staple diet kind of a thing. But I need the noodles from Trader Joe's to do this. I got Ashley's medicine and then lemons and limes to make the juice. And Ashley got Twinkies as a treat for cheer practice tonight. We are watching the air quality. Um, it has come down from 130 to 99. Have you checked it lately, Ash? Mm -hmm. um, technically for their practice, since they're like a city league, they have to be below 100 to perform, practice, anything. Um. So, our coaches, I have it up on the TV in every single room. <laughs> yeah. Because you're like, I'm. I'm not going to make the effort if it's not above or if it's not below 100. Yeah. So, so they like have to like nine. put it, an immediate message out. Um, so, let's see what it is. It's coming down even more. That's fantastic. So, 95. That is very promising. Also, Ashley wanted to show this little cup she got from the market when she went up with her friend yesterday. Right? She put, well, I can't put the photos because <laughs> Ella's in it, every single one of them. No, but she's a lot. She's, a lot. she's been in it. I'll ask her mom if it, maybe you ask her, is she on, or are you just on with Sadie? Uh, she said she's on. Okay, but they got this as well. All right, we are going to learn how to use my Nutribullet um, juicer um, for Abby. And I'm curious about it for myself. How long have we had that? We've had um, it for a while. We've had it for a while. Um, that's when I thought the surgery would be this summer. <laughs> I got it right in the spring. But I got a thing of carrots and some apples and the, what do you call them, lemons. And we're going to make that first. All right. I'm just mildly chopping up some carrots, some apples. I'm just chopping off. I, I don't know. We're experimenting what, it, what this can handle. I don't know. I think I can, maybe we'll just cut it in half. And then we'll do a couple carrots, a couple apples, and then maybe we'll test the flavor with like half of a lime, and then, or not lime, lemon, and see how it tastes. I don't know, so far I've got like six carrots. And then we wanna have enough to kind of stick in the fridge in a mason jar. I think the lemon is gonna help it last a little bit longer. I might not have it both. Becky. So, I don't know. We're just gonna test it. Okay, so we've got the little cup. It's actually kind of cool because it like fits right underneath the nozzle so there's no chance of it spilling. Um, okay, let's just start putting it in. I was gonna make a joke. But Your child's in the room. Are you filming? <laughs> I'm filming. He made a joke and it's not appropriate because we have a child in the room. for the taste test. Yeah, I'm kind of trying to see if I need to add more lemon or apple. What you think? Maybe more apple. Is it a little... It's just actually kind of bland. It's kind of crazy. Let's take Abby. Yeah, I'll see Abby. Okay, we're gonna, because it's full, we're gonna pour out what we've got. It's a little bland, so there's we're gonna do a couple more fruits. This light's making you look a little blotchy. I don't know if it, what it'll look like. 
Well, why are you filming me and not the juice? I already filmed the juice. <laughs> He's not a good cameraman, folks. Okay, so we're gonna do a little bit more, but I think we need to like empty that. Yes. That that is so crazy. It's like it's like a powder. Super almost. dry. Okay, huh? so now we need to figure out how to clean it. I'm not tricking you, Abby. Did it taste good? Yeah. Does it taste like carrots? No. no. I know it is literally straight looking carrots, but it's not. That what makes me look. <laughs> Thank you. We shouldn't have shown you that first. Just take a sip. It literally tastes like a fruit juice. Correct? It just needs more flavor, right? Yeah. Okay, we took the sieve off, and then that whole thing popped out. And we, if we had a compost. It just dumped out. Yeah, that's amazing. We don't need to clean it out because we're going to put more in it. We've got some cutie oranges, which next time I'm going to get some like regular oranges um, and some beets. We're going to try beets. Um, and then the other half of that lemon. All right, so that's all that made, but we're going to mix it with what we've already got. And then we'll mix this guy up. I don't know. Add a little more citrus, a little more flavor. Yeah, that definitely added flavor. We'll just have to play around with it and see. Because it might... really good. Yeah, for our first one. It's There's pretty good. There's pineapples. We have the pineapples. You know, if we needed to really spruce it up or stuff. I am, I'm I surprised at how good it is. Yeah. Okay. We made a second batch. Um, just because we had it all out. We did it the same amount. And because we're using carrots with this one, we don't want to turn orange. So I am going to get beets and some cucumbers. And so beets, cucumbers. I don't know. Can you do celery? Spinach? Spinach? You can do celery, but I've heard, I don't know, unless you mix it in with another flavor. It's just bland. I've heard that celery juice is not that great. So maybe if you're disguising it, let us know it down below. If you have done juicing, let me know what recipes you guys like. Hey, Abby, can I borrow your straw real quick? Okay. Maybe we'll just uh, get another one. There's like kale, yeah, let me know if kale, what, other things like that that people Spinach is definitely one to get the greens. And then you add like pineapple and things to like really bring the flavor, but you, then you get nutrients out of the greens. So I, I need you guys, without putting links down below, put like, just put your ingredients. Like three apples, handful of spinach, that kind of stuff. Um, if you want to DM me over on Instagram, you can send me actual links to recipes. We're kind of sieving it a little bit. Rinsed out the, the cup that comes with it. I'm just sieving it's it. It's not a lot left. I mean, if you jiggle that. Yeah. We're just trying to get out a little bit of the pulp without taking away the nutrients. You know I met you in the dark, it was a Saturday night When I'm seeing you just dancing in the middle of the crowd There was something about you cause you got stuck in my mind Stuck in my mind, stuck in my mind I thought I'd give it a go and I started talking to you I don't know what I said, but the next thing I knew Is that I held you in my arms and you asked what we should do What should we do, what should we do I said you can do what you want to Alright, well it's been a combobulated day. We did spend, I don't know, a good hour, hour and a half working on that puzzle. And I think I could have come up with like a million other things to do in that moment. But it's very rare when I get to spend time with Abby. I spend time with Ashley every single day, no matter what it is. <laughs> I do lots of stuff with Ashley. But it's rare when I get to find stuff that Abby likes to do and we get to do it together. So I just... I did the puzzle with her until I had to take Ashley to, to cheer. And then when um, we realized that I was, that I didn't get Cool Whip um, at the store, Abby was like, well, I'll just go to Target with you and we'll grab a few extra things or whatever. So we did just go to Target. She's in Sephora right now. She's looking for some stuff. And uh, we got, they were out of the fair life drink. I did forget that when I was here earlier today and the cool whip I got. Um, but we also picked up some peaches and some spinach. 
um, I looked for beets because we want to do a juice with beets and spinach and maybe like, I don't know, I need recipes. So I'm going to look some st stuff up. But, um, so we got that kind of stuff. Did they not have it? No. Do you want to go up to Ulta? Sure. I literally don't. I mean, I can work on a computer, but we'll go up to Ulta. Yeah. Okay. Also, I wanted to give you guys the perspective of the fire smoke. Um, normally we can see the mountains clear through there and we can barely see one little hump ahead of us. we were able to get these guys. I we got the salicylic acid and I got this primer and then she got um what is that little a lip gloss lip gloss and then I got that palette. It's really cute. Um these are the colors that not these two right here but like these ones I wasn't gonna add anything else to the end of this video. What? I'm literally editing it and I need it to just be done for the night because I have a very early morning tomorrow. <laughs> What's your question, hon? I was just wondering if we had to wait a week before the other Sister Wives episode, or if it comes out each night. I don't know. <laughs> you have to wait a week, Kenny. Okay. Will you wait for me? Yes, but to be, what did I ask you if you wanted to watch it with me last night? You did, and I did. You said it was okay for me to start it. Yeah, and I sat at the table working on bills. And then you orders. watched it. Yes. I did not start it without you. Okay. Good job. Let's Good see job. If you can keep that up. <laughs> you didn't ask me to wait for you. But do you want me to wait for you to watch it next time? We have very few things we watch together. Okay. Why don't we make Sister Wives one of them. That's, I don't want to have to go I don't have a problem. I watch shows with. <laughs> I don't have a problem waiting. I came to you and asked if you wanted I me to some wait. Respect. <laughs> I need some respect. You're, and obey my you're, rules. You're, and you're stabbing rules, me in the kidney. You're getting me. <laughs> All right. Okay. I'm going to sign off with you guys. Um, uh, anyway, I just thought that was kind of funny. I'm going to preface tomorrow with this. When I'm behind on videos, because I just have done absolutely nothing. <laughs> with the heat last week and the smoke this week, and him being gone with Ashley yesterday, I don't, I'm not caught up on being ahead on videos. That being said, there's a chance that I'm gonna split tomorrow in two for two different reasons. One, extra content. That's <laughs> what bloggers do. And when they need extra content, they add videos to their day. Second reason is regardless of the outcome of what the surgeon says for Abby tomorrow, I, we will need to process that information. If he says, yes, go ahead, let's schedule the surgery, we have to process that. That's good news. We want to be able to celebrate Abby in that. And I don't know if she's going to want to be filmed with that excitement. I don't know. Um, but we, we, we will need to process that. On the flip side, if we don't get good news, obviously I'm not going to film her and that reaction at all. But that's going to take even longer to process and to digest and be able to work through with that with her. Um, I will save my emotions for that if I absolutely have to. Um, just know that like either, either way, we are gonna have to process our emotions. Jason is picking the wrong time, as usual, to do the stupid ninja creamy. Super, uh, what can am you I shut supposed... my door? Cause it's really what? noisy. What? Either way, we are gonna need to process the emotions. It's either really, really good or really, really bad. There's a chance that I'm gonna save that video for a few days and be able to like figure that out all out. It might include a couple days of footage of experience in order to like capture whatever ends up happening. Um, just so, so you know, I have talked about the fact that that's where we are going tomorrow, but you may not see that video tomorrow. You may see the other half of my day <laughs> because her appointment is so early in the morning there's a good chance we're going to be home by 9 or 10 in the morning. Um, and the appointment's clear over at Seattle Children's Hospital. So we might be home by, you know, 9 or 10 o'clock in the morning. And so there's another half of my day that I'm going to film and, like, bring you guys along with. 
Um, but just because this is such a big concept, my stupid computer won't stay turned on, sorry. I don't want to combine these two aspects of our day tomorrow. I'm gonna make one solid one about the surgery and another one about the rest of our day. Just for my own sake revolving, it's almost respect involving this surgery for Abby. It is a very sensitive topic. I wanna respect her feelings about this. This is huge. This is a huge surgery and we need it to happen for her mental health, for her physical health, for her emotional health. It's tearing my mom heart to see her in pain. So just say your prayers and I will get that video to you as soon as I can. Either way, pray for good news. Um, I know a lot of you are moms or women that have hearts of gold. Um, pull your heart and like pull for Abby that we can do this surgery this year.